It's Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid is a graphic novel by Jeff Kinney, published by Penguin in 2019. Rowley Jefferson is the best friend of Greg Heffley, aka the Wimpy Kid. In this book, Greg Heffley's best friend, Rowley Jefferson, takes on the role of Greg's biographer. <sighs> you know what? Let's hear what Jeff Kinney says about it. I'm Jeff Kinney, author of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, and I'm excited to tell you a bit about my brand new book, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid, where you get to see the Wimpy Kid world in a whole new way. In this book, Greg Heffley's best friend, Rowley Jefferson, takes on the role of Greg's biographer and tells loads of funny stories about their friendship. As you might expect, the biography doesn't quite turn out the way Greg would have liked. Yep, can't do better than that. As I said in a previous video, Greg isn't very nice to his friend Rowley, and this book gives Rowley's side of the story. There are even bookmarks in the back to demonstrate this. I basically like this book, just as I basically like all of the Wimpy Kid books. It's funny, I like the characters, and it's easy to read. But I have to say, again, that the whole joke is that Greg is horrible to his friend Rowley, and Rowley doesn't even seem to realise this. In fact, I wonder whether we are laughing with Rowley in this book, or laughing at him. So, one time, when Greg called and asked me to come down and help him rake his yard, I told him I couldn't because I had homework. And Greg said, that's too bad, because he came up with a totally new kind of good boy award, and he was sad I wasn't going to get to see it. I was like, well, at least tell me about it. And Greg said he couldn't because it was top secret and he didn't want to ruin the surprise. Then he said he was going to call Scotty Douglas and see if he wanted to help rake the yard. And I said, OK, I'll be right over. Well, I wish I knew we had to rake the front yard and the back because it was a lot of work. Plus, I had to do it myself because Greg was busy making that new award. When I was finally done, Greg gave me my award, and I've got to say, it was even more awesome than I thought it would be. This new one was called a Super Good Boy Award. Greg said one Super Good Boy Award was worth 50 regular Good Boy Awards, and I could totally see why. In the next few weeks, I earned a bunch of Super Good Boy Awards, but after a while, even those didn't seem all that special. Besides, I was spending a lot of time doing stuff for Greg, and I wasn't getting my own chores done. But every time I told Greg I didn't need any more Good Boy Awards, he'd come up with something new, and then I'd have to have that. Double Good Boy million dollar good boy, golden goodie, super duper good boy. After a while I had so many awards that my binder was stuffed and I couldn't fit new ones in, so I told Greg I wasn't going to try to win any more no matter what. But Greg said that's okay because he made up a whole new system and I should probably just recycle my old awards. I was pretty mad because I worked hard for those awards and now Greg said they were totally worthless. But I was still curious about this new system, so I asked him about it. Greg said the new idea was called Little Goodies and it was a point system and there wasn't any paper involved. Greg said that every time I did something nice for him, I'd get a little goodie point. And once I got 50 little goodies, I'd get a fantastic prize. I was like, OK, what's the prize? And Greg said he couldn't tell me, but it was under a sheet in his bedroom. 
Well, I couldn't figure out what was under that sheet, but I could guess, and a lot of my guesses were things I really wanted. So I spent about a month doing lots of things for Greg, and he gave me a little goodie point each time, like he promised. Bing! <laughs> Eventually, I got to 50 little goodies, and I told Greg I was ready to turn them in for that fantastic prize. But Greg told me that since it was the first day of the month, my little goodie total got reset back to zero. And I said, well, you never told me about that rule. And he said, well, you never asked. I was really mad and I yanked the sheet off the fantastic prize so I could see what it was. But guess what? It was a laundry basket filled with dirty clothes. I told Greg he was a crummy friend for making me do all that work for a phony prize. But he said the laundry thing was just a test to see if I'd peek and that I'd failed the test. Then he said the real prize was locked in the basement and that now I was going to have to earn a hundred little goodies to get it. All I can say is I'm not a fool. I'm going to take my time earning those little goodies. So if Greg thinks I'm in a rush to get that fantastic prize, he's going to be disappointed. Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid is pretty easy to read. If you like Wimpy Kid books or diaries in general, I recommend it to you. Just remember that it's funny because Greg is the bad guy. Apparently, Jeff Kinney plans to write more books from Rowley's perspective, so look out for them. There is a short comic in the Wimpy Kid Do-It-Yourself book, which came out in 2011. Mr. O basically approves of Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. Mm -hmm.